Hello, my name is Henry Emfrey, and this is a Godot 2D game development tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you another way to do levels. See, one way to do levels is you may have created a scene like I have here. For example, I have my, my background, I have my platform, which I like to make invisible. Then you have your character right here. And you may have a way to get to the next level, such as this cave that I have here. And then once maybe our character hits this cave, he starts again in another scene that I've composed where the character's position and stuff is already preset. Because, you know, in Godot, your scenes are self-contained, right? So one scene doesn't really interact with the other scene unless you do some really fancy code or something like that or do another process so you have your character here and you have your character preset in here too well i'm going to show you a way of creating levels in which it's just an easier way of dealing with levels see what i like to do is i could create my levels like i've already done but let's take henry out right here i'm going to save that so now we have one level. We're going to keep Henry in this, this level, but we took Henry out of this level. So we got one level and then the next level that we're going to. Well, the way I'd like to do, do levels is I like to have all my levels in the same scene. And sometimes you can even have your entire game in the same scene. And all I'm going to do is just bring this level into this scene. And then when Henry connects with this cave, all he would do is just go up here. Let me show you. We got our scene set up. Okay, so the next level is called Blue Mountain. So I'm just going to click this chain here and then just click Blue Mountain and bring it in. Okay, and then the next thing that I want to do is have the next scene maybe up here so that when Henry goes to this next scene, the scene will be in the background. Otherwise, pay attention. If the scene was like down here or something, you won't be able to see Henry when he goes to the next level. Okay, so that's why we have our scene, like maybe back here somewhere. Behind Henry somewhere. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is click on Blue Mountain, our next level. And I'm going to scroll out a little bit. And I'm just going to bring it up here. Okay, so that's our next level. So now watch what happens when we launch our game. Okay, so Henry, we can walk around and stuff, but the way I got it, if you press enter, end in the second level. Then, you know, you can always have a, another cave to either get back to that level or get to another level. I mean, however you want to do it. Okay, so that's the way I create my level. And, and that, that way is uh, it's just a lot smoother and easier. And, and like I said, in Godot, I like to have my whole game in just one scene. That's just one way to do it. Because if you have everything in a self-contained environment, sometimes that could be even more procedure and more things to worry about. So to get to that, the way I done was this thing that's called Go to Blue Mountain. All I did was I made this an Area 2D node and click the plus and look for a collision shape and click create. And now click the plus and search for sprite. And then and then for the sprite, it, your sprite can be anything you want it to be. I made a cave in this program called A Sprite. You know, A Sprite is one is a program in which if you're making a 2D game and you want to make the graphics look like retro, or make it look the way they looked it on like Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis or or old school 8-bit or 16-bit type of graphics, this program will allow you to make those kind of graphics right out the box. And I, I highly recommend it because it's a great program. I like making my games pixel art. And this program works a lot like paint.net or, or any paint program. You're just drawing your items and whatever you draw will be pixel art. Okay, so, and then I just save as and add it to my, my assets folder, which I call Godot Level Tutorial. And, and click OK, of course. Okay, so that's how I create my doorway. And then I just click to the top uh you know attach the script and i call the my script go to blue mountain okay so then on the script 
I brought in my character. I created a variable called Henry. I mean, you can name it whatever you want, but I, I created Henry to keep everything straightforward and to keep it simple. And then I brought in my character. My character, Henry, just used this just use his name up here. And I just brought that name right here to bring my character into this code. Then below here is Funk Physics Process Delta of our bodies equals get overlapping bodies. And four bodies in bodies. I mean, just write that. No, don't worry about anything. Just write it. So to change scenes, I said, if my body's name is Henry, see, Henry, this referring to this name right here, and if I press enter on the keyboard, UI accept goes back to the input map, UI accept. You got to work enter here. So if you press enter, then Henry will go to the, the zero axis as in the center right here, the center zero here. He will go here, and he will also go up to minus 1,200. See? Minus 1,200. Look in this corner right here where you see minus 1,000. Then you got minus 1,100. The second bar, minus 1,200. So he'll come here, or he'll come here. So. That's, that's the way the script works. So whenever Henry collides with this and presses the enter button, that script will make Henry go up here, right here. And that's how you create your levels. Okay, this is just an idea. So let's watch that one more time, how this works. Okay, so, okay, so Henry's here, press the enter button, he's here. Hope this works. This should be an easier way to do your level. Hope this helps. Till next time. Thanks. Bye. <clears throat>